Hey guys, my name is Zach Sharp from Pine State Overland in Brunswick, Maine, and this is a do-it-yourself video on how to build your own S-Pod style relay system. Uh, I'm going to be using some various components that I purchased off the internet. I'll put a, a list together of everything that I used uh, in the comments below. I'll also do a quick write-up on my website so that uh, you have something to go by. Uh, if you have any questions, leave comments. I'll answer them as thoroughly as possible, and I'll reach out to every single person that, uh, that leaves a comment. Um, because this is an awesome piece of equipment that pretty much revolutionizes your, your lighting setup and everything like that by giving you an easy switch system um, without breaking the bank. So stay tuned. Again, comment if you have questions, and, uh, and thanks for checking us out. All right, so we're going to run through all the different supplies that I went ahead and purchased. Uh, the first one, and this is really what you're going to be building everything off of, is the Busman Relay uh, System. <clears throat> It is the Eaton 15305 TAC 2, and uh, I will leave links in the description for all of this stuff, so you can just click on it and purchase exactly what I purchased. But this relay is actually relatively small. I'm sorry, it's not even a relay, it's a, like a relay center. And it's weatherproof, and it's nice, and you should use it. So, this is what I'll be using, all right? Female terminal connectors, female disconnects, male disconnects. These are just micro relays, um, 12 volt, 35 amp micro relays. Uh, they feel nice and heavy and good quality. I purchased, again, all this stuff on Waytech. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but they seem to have the best prices out there. Uh, these are kind of difficult to see, but they are these little green uh, plugs. They are cable seals, and uh, we won't be end up, we won't end up using or plugging all of these with uh, cables or wires or plugs or anything like that. So the ones that we don't end up plugging, we're going to put these in these little green rigs. We're going to put them in there, and we're going to fill it with silicone just so it doesn't allow any type of moisture to get through. Amazon is great for fuses. These are the mini ATM fuses. It comes with some other styles as well, um, like these ones. But we're going to be really using the mini ATMs inside of the uh, inside of the bus man because that is what it accepts. These are my switches. These are the switches that I purchased on OTTRW, I believe, is the website. Again, I'm going to leave links in the description. They fit perfectly in the Blue Sea. Contoura six position mounting panel that I purchased on Amazon to uh, to snap them into. I found that wiring was a little cheaper on Amazon, so I went ahead and bought uh, some some of this cable. This is uh, 12 gauge cable. Uh, you're only going to end up using about two feet of this, but uh, I went ahead and flipped the bill for the hundred feet uh, because it was like. I don't know, maybe $10 and two feet was seven. Install gear, eight gauge wiring. Uh, this is red and black. This is what's gonna be running to your battery terminal. It's gonna be really charging the bus man. I am very organized as far as my truck goes. Uh, the rest of my life is shambles, but this is gonna help me to run all my wiring together. It's a really nice material. That expands when you push down on it so you can run all your wires and cabling through there uh, and make it look nice and neat. It's heat resistant, keeps everything organized, makes it so much easier to run cables through your firewall and into your cab um, without having to reach and duct tape and all this stuff with, with a bunch of wires going everywhere. So I highly recommend this stuff. Uh, it is braided sleeve. Quarter inch might be too small. We're going to find out. I'm going to be using 16 gauge to wire all the switches and wire up the bus man, which I don't have on the table here today. Um, it's out in the garage, but that's just regular 16 gauge multicolored cable that you'll see throughout the process. And I'll include a link in the description for that as well. All right. So I went ahead and already built one of these so I could show you guys. Um, you're going to want to get the 12 gauge wire and cut it about, I don't know, I'd say four inches long or so. Um, obviously splice off the ends so you have the exposed wiring. And then I had to shave some of this 12 gauge with an X-Acto knife so I could get the little uh, grommets 
these little seals over over this um, because it is 12 gauge and, and these are I think rated for 16. So I got those um, grommets on after I spliced and then I, I put these connectors on the wires and soldered it. Okay and uh, I'm going to be going from A1 to D2, A2 to D4, A3 to D6, A4 to D8, and A5 to D10. I'll put that in the description as well. Uh, when you go ahead and put these in, you're going to want to have this piece facing the top of the bus man. Okay? Otherwise, it won't click in. And you'll hear it click. You'll hear it click. Just like that. Once you have everything wired, it should look something like this. One thing I also wanted to cover was I went ahead and took these green seals and I, I filled up the whole C column. You can't really see it in the video, but uh, there these are lettered. Uh, so the C column I filled with these green seals and I will fill those little holes with silicone to prevent water from coming through. The rest of these we are actually going to, uh, to use. Um, the next step is I'm going to cut specific lengths of uh, multicolored 16 gauge wire. Um, I went outside and I measured how much wire I was going to need to run from my bus man to my switches. In my truck, I'm, I'm running a 2015 Toyota Tacoma and I'm going to put them, the switches in the overhead uh, in one of the sunglass holders. So I went out and I measured it with a piece of string and I'm going to cut. Uh, the 16 gauge wire to match that and I'll have one black for ground. Um, so yeah, we'll get into that step now. Now that I know how much I'll need, I got uh, five different colors, including my black ground. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape these ends uh, so that I get the same length. The thing that is going to go inside the cab of the truck and plug into the switches, I went ahead and just wired these up with the same connectors um, that I was using before with the green seals and then for the black one I just did uh, a connector like such for the ground. Now I'm going to leave this unconnected because I need to run this through my firewall. Now for my accessories going from the bus man to the accessories I did the same thing but you'll notice there's only five um, because there's no ground on this harness and just for the sake of convenience I just uh, I installed some connectors on here so I can plug and unplug my accessories uh, without having to actually hardwire it in um, to this harness. Now as far as wiring goes for the switches, I went ahead and made these. Um, this is going to be a ground jumper that is going to go from uh, the top of the switches. You're going you're gonna to jump from one to the other to the other to the other all the way across because you're able to actually jump these um, negatives. So I went ahead and made that. Now this, this is going to be connected to a, uh, an inline fuse. It's going to go to a 12 volt source um, and that is going to be plugged in here in the number two slot. And in the number six slot you're going to hook this. The number six slot is the bottom right, and that will be hooked into your dash light circuit so that the uh, the lights for the switches come on when your dash lights come on. The rest of the, the terminals here are going to be plugged into the harness that runs from the bus man um, right here through the firewall and uh, into, into the cab. All right, so I went ahead and removed this panel uh, from the overhead in my 2015 Tacoma. Uh, this is obviously the sunglasses holder. Um, and this is going to be where we're going to be putting the switches. We're going to be putting it just like so. All right. So uh, this, this whole assembly here is about six inches uh, long, a little over six inches long, and a little over one and a half inches wide. So I'm going to measure this out, and I'm going to begin to cut with my Dremel. 
uh, an opening for this so I can go ahead and set the switches in place. All right, so this is the uh, bus man where I'm gonna mount it. This is on a, uh, on a Pelfrey built uh, relay tray for the Blue Sea that I went ahead and modified quite heavily. Um, this setup here is um, controlled by my ignition. So all my scanners and radios turn off when I turn the key off. That is because I have stuff stored um, under seats and uh, I, it's really hard to access those to turn them off every time I want to use them. So I have them just uh, set up like that. I have a little bit of room here. I haven't yet installed it, but that's where I'm going to. I'm going to drill some holes and set it up there. It's a pretty light system overall, so I don't think bouncing around is going to do any harm. Um, and uh, I'll be running all my cords through the back here. You can see I got everything set up and ready to go. So I went ahead and uh, dismantled this. I popped that out. There's just a screw um, in the one closest to the center of the truck and then you pop it out from the back. You pop it out from this here. And uh, that is what it'll look like. I had to cut the back in order to fit everything in there, um, which was kind of a pain, but try to maintain as much integ structural integrity as possible with this. Um, I'll be running everything through the firewall through here, up the A-pillar. I gotta take this off, remove my RAM ball mount, um, drop the headliner and run everything through. So I'm gonna get uh, working on that and I'll show you the end product. All right, so they're all installed and uh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Pleasantly surprised with myself. Um, I ended up uh, having a hard time with this, actually closing with all the wires and everything behind there. Um, it was pretty difficult, but I was able to actually fetch my hand up and through the backside and pull uh, the wires back. So it wasn't, you know, so much wiring actually in the sunglass holder, but you know, as you can see, everything works pretty well there. So it went back here through the firewall, um, and then obviously this is where I this is where I stored the uh, the bus man. I just tapped two screws and put some nuts on the back, um, and it's I mean it's solid. It's not going anywhere. And I ran all my wires into the cab for the switches through the back through the firewall, and then I currently don't have any. Um, accessories, but I just ran the, the extra cabling down here for the time being uh, until I can get the accessories up and up and running. But uh, that is what it looks like. I'll take a photo of the switches at night in the on and off position uh, so you can get a feel for what they what they look like. Um, and uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, I'll definitely definitely respond and help you out because this is a uh, extremely valuable piece of equipment and it's at a fraction of the cost of something like an s pod would be so uh leave comments if you have any questions subscribe and thanks for checking this out